Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel we are speaking about interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today we will talk about Tesla, ticker name TSLA traded on Nasdaq. Well, only lazy guy didn't talk about Tesla these days and of course it's going remarkab remarkably upwards, unbelievably uh, yeah, driven by its very charismatic CEO actually Elon Musk and uh, now the question is where it's going to head, what's going on and where we can buy or sell it, uh, what should we do actually with Tesla. Well, let's quickly start our analysis from the deepest day of this year, 17 of March and Tesla just touched its moving average 200 here, the darkest day of the market of this year, didn't even pierce it, so it shows really remarkably strong behavior and then it started the recovery sequence and it's even wrong to say the recovery sequence because the recovery was just up to the lines of 150-ish and then it was just the boost, the boost mode for Tesla and here we speak about uh, prices in already uh, split terms because uh, previously the numbers were different so today we had a split of the stock and this caused some extra actions for Tesla also Apple did split its stocks uh, to bring some higher uh, float and volatility and stuff to it so people can buy an easier trade with it so speaking of Tesla what do we see here first of all there is a very strong trend line one that shows really remarkably fast and it's reconfirmed many many times with waves from very COVID state is actually reconfirmed in April then also used moving average 20 there is green line as as additional support then reconfirmed at 20 ish of June then another big wave and then it was reconfirmed at 10 of August and then it started another wave and now what happened here so when this latest wave was going yesterday it has shown this red candle so everyone was expecting a correction or at least flattening until we until the moon the trend one line reaches to it like we saw in the previous wave here and correction uh, actually wave was stopped with this candle at uh, 13 of July and it was just staying flat until indeed the trend one line of all moving average didn't catch up with it and then started another wave but here what happened is enormous 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 uh, boost just extremely optimistic market and what we see today we just jump on the news of the split and now the wave is going so-called crazy or boost mode. So what's the most, what's the boost mode of the wave? When we speak about stocks showing so-called 20, 50, uh, 200 behavior when its moving averages are aligned like this, this is usually a long-term growth. And then uh, price goes with waves of parts. But when the wave is formed, it can, uh, and it's in the middle or in the top of it, it can show several behaviors. So one behavior, it can classically uh, reduced till the trend line to start another wave it can break so it goes again to the trend line but like this and then it means it could be pierce of the trend line or it can go so-called boost mode when it makes severely unexpected fast jump and then usually it goes really crazy peak and then breaks and that's what can happen here because we don't need to forget that uh, Tesla is now going to the break mo uh, to the crazy mode so it's this case when it will actually uh, went to the middle of the wave and now crazily boosting that's exactly what we have and this uh, candle is almost without shadows so most probably it will continue even tomorrow but nevertheless there are also bearish factors here uh, it's being extremely oversold in in RSI levels really extremely it's 84.4 RSI extremely oversold uh, of course driven also by uh, enormous pers personal charisma and uh, actually all these positive uh, news about around Elon and also his other companies like SpaceX uh, rumors about possible IPOs of SpaceX coming soon etc etc so all these all together all these companies they actually are very positive they're new about new technologies recent uh, discussion about Neuralinks etc it all drives all these companies up all everything whenever it goes APO anything it will just go up so all this together creates this extreme positive fuzz and you need to understand it will continue until actually money of all positive buyers will vanish and they buy everything they can and 
in that sense, okay, uh, if you ask what to do next, the answer is if you're already in this realm, maybe wait until the end of the week because then this huge jump should finish. No one can exactly predict where it will finish, but there should be correction. And correction will be severe as well here, at least it's expected to, because correction uh, should go up. You need to understand that this crazy mode is driven by no technical, no fundamental news. Uh, also, you need to understand that company performance versus the current price is extremely uh, outnumbered because it's uh, many, many times higher price than actually the current fundamentals. And this is need to understand, need to be understood. Keep it. I don't want to say it's a bubble. It's just a lot of um, optimism, a lot of belief of people, which is also uh, an asset. But uh, this optimism goes with waves. And once this starts, the correction might take place. So what to do if you're already in it? Uh, maybe wait until end of the week, then you will know what to do. To be honest, we entered today um, at 477 and then just came out closer to the end because you never know what will happen. Uh, it was good profit uh, up to 12%, but then uh, it's just casino style. And uh, we don't like casino style because our philosophy is that trading stocks is an art, but not a casino, and therefore we just exit it. But it's still very probable it will go high, it can go crazy high, you never know how many plus percentage. In that sense, there is no advice, but advice is to wait, and if you're already in position, to wait until the, the, this peak and correction starts then exit. If you're not in position, advice is wait for the another wave. So wait until this wave will re-establish itself. Again, given that we will still stay in 2050 to 100 condition, because now uh, also what is positive for this talk that moving averages are not only positive, but also their first and second derivatives are positive, meaning that it's really in a boost mode. And it again reconfirms that the wave is in boost mode. The same is true for MACDs. Uh, it's in boost mode, but the wave of MACD is positive and it's going second wave. This is usually a, a call for strong correction. And this should happen. This, this should happen. And also the split will help it a little bit because the, the overall price volatility increases when it's lower price. So the split will help it. It will be also good for company because it will allow it uh, for uh, for some funds, for better volatilities, etc., etc., for cash flow. But uh, if you are a wave player, it might be bad for you. So wait, wait for correction if you are not yet in position, if you don't like casino style. Of course, if you like, if you think it's opportunity of your life, no one can stop you at the boss. But our advice is, again, if you are in position, wait until end of the week, or at least when you see clear sign of end of this boost mode. If you are not wait until the boost mode, the dust settles down, then you can enter. And most probably there will be first entry opportunity just exactly at these levels because it should correct itself towards trend line one. If there are no bad news coming and it's not expected at least until next uh, quarter report because then some fundamentals will come up, some updates, uh, it still might go with waves without any severe piercing of moving averages 50 and 20 here. So most probably it will be um, exactly uh, re-establishing itself at uh, a trend one line and then going for another wave. So just wait for it for these areas, for these levels to enter the Tesla. And yeah, it's incredible what's going on here. Of course, it's a lot of uh, optimism, but don't forget that what goes up goes down and all these kind of stories as well. I don't want to sound pessimistic here, but you need to remember that here, the price versus fundamentals, it's extremely high. If you do similar analysis for Tesla, it's only a few times higher. Uh, sorry, for Apple, it's only a few times higher price versus fundamentals. When when you speak about this in Tesla, it just we speaks in thousands of times. Eh? It's really a huge value number. And whenever shaking behavior, whenever doubt any shadow comes, the correction of the downtrend could be really comparable with uh, Nikola company, although Again, what is positive for Tesla is a bit above or beyond the ch chart analysis. It's also personality of CEO. It's also another project, um, and which is a very good strategy, actually, because it's not only one company performance, but it's belief in overall companies, in overall activities and capabilities of, of 
Elon uh, to perform positively and run companies. So Tesla is not just a Tesla, it's actually part of empire of, uh, of Elon and that's why overall it's, it's positive and people feel positive about it. But no one uh, should neglect also waving and just wait for another wave. That's our advice, that's what we do at least, that's what we did today. Did a quick um, yeah, trade on the extremely positive mood and then just waiting. So that's it for Tesla, good luck with it. Incredible company, incredible CEO, incredible personality. But trade is trade, so take your wave. And also do not forget to subscribe to our channel, this way you will not miss our new videos. Uh, it's talking about new opportunities for US-based stocks.